You're listening to the Hearing Jesus for Kids podcast, and I'm your host, Rachel Roll. This is a show for kids to help them really know who God is. Do you have any favorite toys or treasures at your house? Maybe something you think is really special or worth a lot of money? I want to share with you a few of my own favorite things. Every day, I wear a ring that Mr. Tim gave me when we got married, and it's really special to me. It reminds me of how valuable he thinks I am and how much he loves me. I also have photographs in these journals of all of my children when they were babies. I love to take them out and to look at them and just just to think about them when they were small. Now, what if someone asked you to give up some of your special things? What if you had to give them away or even throw them away? That feels pretty hard, right? Well, that's exactly what happened in the Bible story we're talking about today. A rich man came to Jesus and asked how he could get into heaven. He wanted to know what he needed to do to be sure of his place with God. Let's take a moment and read the passage from the Bible. We're going to read from Mark chapter 10, verses 17 to 31. If you have a Bible nearby, you can follow along too. As Jesus started on his way, a man ran up to him and fell on his knees before him. Good teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus answered, no one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and mother. Teacher, he declared, all these I have kept since I was a boy. Jesus looked at him and loved him. One thing you lack, he said, go sell everything you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. At this, the man's face fell. He went away sad because he had great wealth. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, how hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words, but Jesus said again, children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were even more amazed and said to each other, who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, with man, this is impossible, but not with God. All things are possible with God. Then Peter spoke up. We have left everything to follow you. Truly, I tell you, Jesus replied, no one who has left home or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for me and the gospel will fail to receive a hundred times as much in this present age. Homes, brothers, sisters, mothers, children and fields, along with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last first. So this rich man came to Jesus and he had a pretty big question. What must I do to inherit eternal life? He thought he could earn his way into heaven by following the commandments. But Jesus had something surprising to say. He told the man to sell everything. He wanted him to sell everything that he had and give the actual money to the poor. That was a tough answer for the rich man. He had worked really hard to collect his wealth and he wasn't ready to give it all up. So he went away sad. After that, Jesus told his disciples something very interesting. He said it was easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. Let's think about that for a second. Think about what a needle looks like. It's got a tiny little hole on the top. It's really, really small. Now imagine trying to fit a big camel through that little hole. It sounds impossible, right? Well, Jesus used this picture to show how hard it is for people who trust in their money to rely on God. It wasn't that the rich man had a lot of money. It's that he was depending on his money more than he was depending on God. We all need things like food and clothing and a place to live, but God wants us to depend on him more than anything else. It doesn't matter how much stuff we have or how much money we earn. Only Jesus can save us and take away our sins. That's why Jesus died for us, to give us grace and new life in him. Jesus told us that without God, it's impossible to do certain things. But with God, all things are possible. That means God can change our hearts and make things possible that we just couldn't do on our own. If we try really hard to be good or do the right thing, it's not enough. We all need God's help to get to heaven. And with him, 
anything is possible. There's nothing wrong with having nice things, but we need to remember that our hope comes from Jesus. He's worth more than any of the treasures we have or any possession. Let's take a moment to pray and ask God to help us to trust in Him more than anything else. Dear God, thank you for blessing us with all we need. Help us to trust in you and not depend on our things for joy because you are worth more than any treasure. God, we thank you for your love and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey friends, would you like to ask me a question? Maybe you have a question about God or the Bible or something we talked about on the podcast. Well, if you go to the link in the show notes, you can actually call me and leave me a message. And you know what? You may even hear yourself on a future episode. If you would like to extend the conversation, I invite you to join our Patreon. For just $5 a month, you get ad-free episodes and family discussion guides that I created to help you have conversations around faith that will help your family grow spiritually together. You can check it out at the link in the show notes. Greetings and God bless. This is Tyler Burns. And this is Dr. Jamar Tisby. And we want to invite you to check out our podcast, Pass the Mic. Dynamic Voices for a Diverse Church. Pass the Mic has been speaking directly to the core concerns of Black Christians for over a decade. On our show, we've got interviews from theologians, historians, actors, activists, and so much more. Not to mention heartfelt, open dialogue on some of the heaviest issues facing the church in the United States. Be sure to subscribe to the show on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts. We'll see you there on the next Pass, Pass the mic. The mic.